Good morning, everyone, and it is a nice sunny day here in Whistler. Let me get your butt up. Got some beautiful artwork here. It's a lovely little elk. Gorgeous. All right, let's get it going. So we are now heading off to go zip lining. Yeah. So my How to Travel the Philippines video was not done. It kept going. It went on its little viral run, and I now have 12,500 likes or kind of like followers, whatever you want to call it, on Facebook. I literally went from having 250 to 12,500 overnight. So pretty wild, totally unexpected, but uh, very thankful. And it's really cool because majority of those people are actually from the Philippines. Whistler is actually the big Olympic village. So in 2010, we had the Winter Olympics here in Vancouver and it was an amazing time. One of the best times of my life and Vancouver killed it. We got the most gold medals in a Winter Olympic ever out of any country in our own country. So it was a really big year. We kept winning everything. And uh, Whistler Village was one of the main hubs where they had lots of the events and the athletes staying. And so you'll see lots of things like the Olympic rings are here. Whistler! <laughs> We are here. We've arrived. So we've just been dropped off here. We are now at the Cougar Mountain base where we will be getting all of our zip lining gear. And I just remembered I was actually here a couple years ago to do snowmobiling. That was one of the coolest things I've ever done in Whistler. We're with the Superfly zip line group. So so awesome that they invite us to come check out their facility. It's absolutely beautiful. And today we have a private tour of the zip line. So super excited about that. Whoa. Slippery out. Laura, show us the outfit of the day. You look like a sumo wrestler. So we are getting all set up with our helmets here because we are taking a quick ride to get to the zip lines on that. So you can jump in anywhere. There's three seats in the back, two in the Perfect. front. Perfect. Sit wherever you like. Just pop this one in. Oh, yeah, we are way out. So this is our view now. We took this here little, basically like a snow tank, and it drove us about 15, 20 minutes up the hill, and now we have the entire nature to ourselves. How neat is that? All right guys, so you see that yellow line? If you just stick to the left-hand side of that, cool. and we're ready for you. Holy. Oh my God, that's crazy. That's a major zip line. <laughs> definitely the biggest zip line. How long is a zip line? 1.2 kilometers long, <laughs> 642 <laughs> foot above the valley floor, and you're going to be reaching speeds of up to 80 to 90 kilometers an hour. Oh my gosh, this must be one of the biggest in the country. It's the highest in the country? Yeah, so this is also a tandem zip line. Laura and I will be having a little zip race down to the bottom. Let's go! <laughs> That was as close as I'll ever come to flying. That is amazing. 1.2K in, I'd say under a minute and a half. We went as fast as 80 kilometers an hour at some points. Damn. All right, we are at the next zip line. Line number two. Three kilometers long, so it's just longer than the last one. Jeez, this is the longest one in all of Canada. In the winter. <laughs> Sayonara. And up you go. Woo! See you down there.
sick. And you are free. Oh, Settle down. Thank you. <laughs> so, you guys, welcome to Godzilla. Godzilla. All right, this is a bit of a beast. We're going to be walking up the tail of the monster today. So, take a seat for me. Here we are on track number three, the fastest of all of them. It's very steep and short. All right, let's going to sneak, sneak in here. Are we ready? We are ready. Are you sure? I'm positive. No. All right. So, ready. so I'm going to count you down. Are you ready? Yeah. Three and three. Oh, oh, here, go. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> that one was so quick. At the end here, it's like a really steep one and very short run, and so you just come slamming into the end. We made it. Hi, we made it. So the zip line is the last one, and it's close enough together that we can hold hands while going down. We are in luck. So cute. And we go below the trees in this one. And this is our last zip line with Superfly Whistler. Incredible zip lines, and I highly recommend it. Out of ten. Ten out of ten. You. Excellent. All right, you ready? We're ready. Ready. Set. Go. This is what love is all about, guys. The scariest part was when I had to let go of your hand, Laura. That is our last zip line. Amazing. Such an incredible time. See you later, Laura. It's been nice knowing you. The last zip line takes us all the way back to base camp where we first caught that giant ski mobile on steroids. It's been an amazing time. Superfly Whistler. It's super fly. Clever, I know. Mission accomplished. We did it. We did it. Oh my gosh, I just saw a bear run by. Where did it go? There it is. Run, it's a black bear. We came, we saw, we conquered. Superfly Whistler was a treat. Now we're heading back to the village. All right, we're back in Whistler Village now. The shuttle dropped us off down here. It's about a 15 minute bus ride to get back here. And today we're pretty much actually celebrating my 10,000 subscribers on YouTube, which, which I have now surpassed that. Uh, Laura was in Vegas when I hit 10,000, so we couldn't celebrate immediately. But today has been organized by Laura and now we just did some zip lining. We're going to the spa later. Yeah, we're going to the spa now. So not now, but later. We're gonna grab some lunch first. But today is off to an amazing start, and we're so, much so much more to come. Stay, Yay. stay Life tuned. Adventures of Laura Christian. So I just ordered the Toblerone here, which is Kahlua, Bailey's, and hot chocolate. And Laura just got hot chocolate with marshmallows. I'm a child. Okay, I'm not the kind of person who vlogs while eating, so I'm gonna put this away. Like a huge thing of snow just fell off the roof right in front of Laura. You okay? Yeah, I was a little traumatized. <laughs> Anyways, we're just hanging out in the car because Christian's answering emails. No idea if that's an Australia, that's the issue. So this car just automatically started on its own and we're like, what the heck? We're like getting out of Laura's car. Oh, you must have hit the ignition thing. So Laura just, well there's like a little button here. Laura must have automatically started the car. No, there's no way, there's actually no. Anyways, Laura just started someone's car. They're gonna be out of gas by the time they get back. I but I don't know, but this car started on its own and you, you touched it. Nope, there they are. Those people must have started it, well they did. They started the car with their fob from long range. Like they must have been like, I don't know, a few hundred meters away. Cause it took them like five minutes to get to the car. A bit less. It took like three minutes to get to the car. That's a cool feature though, because if you live out in the cold, it's nice you can start it from your garage and have the car heating while you're getting ready in the morning. We have just arrived here at Scandinavia Spa. You're not allowed to bring your dog. Okay, apparently we have to walk through the enchanted forest first. Alright guys, so it says here, welcome to our haven of peace and quiet. One of the rules here is that once you enter the spa, you're not allowed any electronics. You won't be able to do any vlogging in there, unfortunately, but I can tell you how it is after the fact. But once we get in, I'll have to lock up my phone, my camera, and everything that makes me live. It's so quiet. 
We are now signing into the Scandinav Spa and we're getting set up with our towels. Alright, so we are all set up with our towel gear. This is like a little sanctuary. It's time for Laura and I to go enjoy all the amenities here and I'm not allowed to bring any of this equipment outside, as I said earlier. Also, it's a silent spa, so we're not even allowed to talk to each other once we're out there, or within talking. reason. I see people talking, I see people talking. We're well, good. You're supposed to be fairly quiet, so we're gonna be respectful, leave all our stuff behind here, and I'll let you know how it goes. See you in a couple hours. Um, it's just like swim trunks. Just finished up in the spa. We were here for about two hours, and so how it works is like there's cycles, right? So you go from the change room, you get into your bathing suit, and then you go to the steam room or the sauna. You spend about 15 minutes, get your body temperature up until you want to get out. And then from there you go to a cold bath. So they've got like three or four cold baths and one of them has a giant waterfall. And so it's called like the Nordic waterfall. You get in there and your body temperature just drops immediately like you're freezing. I stayed in for maybe 10 seconds and then ran to the hot tub. And so you go from there into either the solarium where you can just like relax and kind of bring your uh, body temperature back to normal or you can go to the hot tub. I highly recommend the Scandinav Spa, especially if you've got a hot date and they're not exactly a great conversationalist, you know, not, a, not too bright. This is perfect. You come here, they're not even allowed to talk to you. You get to check them out all day in a bathing suit and relax together. Uh, another great idea is if you have a good book. I wish I'd brought a book. Laura says someone from the Hunger Games is here. The drunk, the drunk uh, counselor guy, like the guy who gives him advice, right? To come in Pizza has just arrived and I am done vlogging for the night. Today has been awesome and I've got nothing more to say. See you guys in the next vlog. Pizza goals. Oh, he's taking pictures again. Get away! Let's do it.